Can you please tell me why you're here today? Hey, oh, sorry, you're locked out. I'm locked your phone, brother. Yeah, help, sick. So, okay. Um, my kids were taken 131 days ago unlawfully. What was people, their reason? The reason was they're using fabricated domestic violence, which we've already proven in the Cairns District Court. Yeah, but court. why are you here today? I'm like, here today yeah. because my children were taken 131 days ago. They're going to be force injected. The terrorists that try to do it are trying to extract classified apoptosis technology, which can wipe out every single person in Russia and China with the press of a button. Every cell in your body will die if they can project apoptosis into you. Apoptosis is when you're the fetus, your hands are thin. The Australian request. Transitional visits these days can cover an awful lot of things. The Albanese government could do one very simple thing and say, never, never under any circumstances will a nuclear armed warship, submarine like the one that's actually at the first the moment, one uh, nuclear powered American submarine at the, at the moment, warships, aircraft, submarines, no nuclear weapons will ever be allowed under that loophole. We will work to close it. I, of course. Okay. The program name, the active program name, isn't the World Economic Forum Project Gilgamesh. It's actually Defense Science and Technology Alliance 21, which is also now being updated to 2030. Mm. Okay. When that program was originally run, okay, it was a military injectable DARPA N3 nanotechnology program for the US military. The contracts with Pfizer, Karen Kingston, it's on the Russian military intelligence. Karen Kingston revealed the contracts that started in 2016 for COVID-19 contracts. Okay, the bioweapon was made in 2008. The plan for that was fully implemented in 2014 with the nanotechnology being fully implemented. In other words, soldiers are being injected and they can remote control drones by thinking. They can remote control other people. They call it remote, real-time human possession. They can take control of your body and your mind. They can reprogram your neurons. It's called neurological reprogramming. It is about uh, joint bases. We don't have any American bases per se. We have joint bases, which are in which the Australians say we have full knowledge and concurrence with what goes on. When you peel that back and when you talk to ministers, I can tell I'm kind of continually shocked about their ignorance, frankly. Right? as well as the deception on that. The new minister for Washington introduced did a ministerial statement in Parliament uh, last month where he talked about the joint facilities, but he also talked about a new category, which even the previous Turnbull, Morrison, Abbott government hadn't thought of. We now have a new category under the US-Australia Forced Posture Initiative called collaborative bases.